Sagittarius, it's your time. I hope that you are doing well. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel. I very much appreciate you. If you are new here, you are very welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you here. Let's take a look. I hope that you have had a good weekend. You're having a good weekend. Wishing you blessings for the week ahead. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Sagittarius needs to be aware of at this time. I hope that you are feeling safe, loved and protected. Please help me to deliver clear and concise messages and keep the collective safe and protected and myself also. Thank you. Let's see. What does Sagittarius need to know? Tell me about Sagittarius, the Three of Cups. Tell me about Sag, the Page of Cups in the reverse. The King of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Wands. The Moon card. Tell me about the Page of Cups in the reverse. The Six of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands in the reverse. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. Wow, who is that? Tell me about the Seven of Wands in the upright, please, Spirit. The Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands? The Four of Cups. The bottom of the deck, we've got the Ace of Coins. I don't know if you've rejected somebody or they feel rejected by you, Sagittarius. Somebody, whether this is energetic or you've outwardly said, I don't want to deal with you. Or you've just withdrawn from this person. You're not really entertaining this person. I say entertaining because the page of cups is here in the reverse. You know, it may not have been something that was very deep between you and another person. But whatever this is, you could have withdrawn you could be holding back from somebody or if you was kind of indulging in some sort of connection with a person or connecting with a person somehow, even if it was just going out, spending time, chilling out, what have you. There's something here about you not doing that anymore and somebody could feel rejected by you. Somebody could feel like there's an offer that you are not accepting or you're not taking or you've rejected an offer here with the nine of coins. Somebody could feel like you're happier being single with the temperance energy or peaceful. Um, this could just be somebody who you've ended something with and they're really hurt about this, whether they're realizing it or not. It's like you, they feel rejected by you. Let's let's get into the signs first. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Sagittarius. A Cancer or a Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Air energy is here as well. It's like I feel rejected by Sagittarius, so now I'm stepping into my ego and I feel defensive. Somebody is not as confident as what they make out. You know, somebody's very angry that you are not giving them your attention, your time with the Four of Cups. Somebody's really upset. The King of Wands in the reverse, they could be very angry. This definitely could be somebody who's doing a lot of things out of spite, trying to get your attention or on this kind of like ego trip is what I'm, I'm, I'm getting at. With the Seven of Wands, this could be somebody who is fighting to have some sort of relevance or fighting to kind of, but it's, it's very egotistical, whatever this is. And with the Four of Cups, this is somebody who feels ignored by you, like they need to be more important to you or, you know, how dare you reject me or how dare you not give me that attention? How dare you not stroke my ego? Do you not know who I am is the energy that I'm getting here. But with the King of Wands in the reverse, this person has a lot of insecurity. Hence the reason why they're approaching this like this. Hence the reason why they're on this ego trip in the first place. This is somebody who has a lot of work to do internally. 
they're very upset with you. I feel like, I don't know if you've, you previously rejected this person. Maybe this is a friend that wanted something more with you. Or there could have been an overlap between a friendship into some sort of romantic situation. Maybe there was talk about this or maybe you kind of explored it, but not too deep. I don't feel like this is somebody who you fully committed to. For some of you, maybe you tried to have a go around with this person romantically and something didn't work. And you've decided to withdraw from somebody but you're doing well for it and I feel like that's what's kind of digging the knife in a little bit deeper with this person with the six of wands whatever you have withdrawn your investment from it's like it was the right decision for you like you feel like it's the right decision for you you could definitely be experiencing some sort of success somebody could be even jealous of the fact that you get some sort of attention you could be in the public eye it's like do you not know who I am somebody wants to be important to you Sagittarius somebody wants to feel important to you and they feel like you're not giving them that or they're not important and it's making them angry with the moon card here there could have been something that you didn't know that was going on behind the scenes within a friendship group maybe you couldn't quite put your finger on the unknown or some sort of um mysterious energy that you was nudging at you and you didn't quite know why but you pulled out of something here this could have pertained to a group of people and one of these people was this fire sign it could have been this fire sign this aries this leo this sagittarius sagittarius like you knight of swords energy is here could be an air sign you didn't know you couldn't quite put your finger on what was what was up in a dynamic but you made the choice to withdraw and that was the right decision that's what i'm getting you feel like it was the right decision and somebody's upset with you. You could have definitely have got a better offer here with the Ace of Pentacles. I don't know. Let's see what this is. Tell me about the Page of Cups in the reverse. The Five of Wands. You could have withdrawn from something that was very messy. Maybe there was too many cooks in the kitchen. Maybe this person was dealing with other people. If this person was dating around, maybe you could have felt like it was going to be too messy to involve yourself or mix yourself within something here. So you decided to opt out. There's some sort of group dynamic or a person had too many options and you felt like it was going to be too messy for you to be involved or attached to this. So you decided to leave or you decided to take yourself off of the roster. You decided to remove your energy with the nine of coins and be single. And the thing is, you're OK. I feel like what again, I go back to that energy, Sagittarius. I feel like it's bothering somebody that you're OK. I feel like it's bothering somebody that you're good the nine of pentacles you're still thriving you're still looking good you don't seem sad you don't seem upset you know you could well be but this is somebody who really feels like you don't care or you're you're it's like they want to be relevant they want you to be upset that you you're not with them or upset that you i don't know what this person expected sagittarius is this making sense to you what did this person expect you to do here? I see there was a... You associate this person with mess. Like you could view this person as having their finger in too many pies, too many people involved. This person could get a lot of attention and you don't want to be associated with it. But it's negative because the king of wands is in the reverse. This could be a player. This could be somebody who you know to sleep around or, you know, you go, you go to a venue, you're dating somebody, you go to a venue and they know like, if this is a masculine who dates feminines, like, you know, if you're on a date with somebody, you, they, you might see a couple of people in the same venue as you that they've slept with or they're, you know, there's a funny energy around this person, a funky energy, funky, 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 mm. Mm. funky. And you didn't want to be associated with this. And somebody's upset. Tell me about this, this, this mad energy, this, King of Wands in the reverse, you've hurt somebody. Their ego, though, it's their ego. Tell me about the King of Wands in the reverse. I'm just, I just keep hearing, don't you know who I am? <laughs> Do you know who I am? Like, the Hierophant could be a Taurus. Somebody feels like they're a god. <laughs> the devil, but they're not. They're, they're, it, ah. If you disconnected from somebody, sorry for the facial expressions. I'm very expressive, guys. 
Could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus, earth sign energy or a fire sign. Somebody thinks that they're, they're God's gift. God's gift. You know, and, and, you know, we're all God's children. Some less than others, you know, especially if you move like crap. But <laughs> I like to think that everybody has a divine purpose. Everybody has a connection to div the divine. But some people choose not to tap into it. Some people choose to live their life in a nefarious manner. Some people choose to, you know, treat people not. And, you know, that's what sets us apart at the end of the day, okay? Um, but somebody here feels like they're a god. They're favoured. They're this. Do you know who I am? Somebody really marks themselves up to be some sort of leader. People need to bow down to me. I am great. I am amazing. I am this god-given um being where you have to bow down to me who wouldn't want to be around me very egotistical who is this with the devil ah oh. very greedy individual somebody who is fueled by low vibration here they like to, this could even be somebody who acts god fearing but they're not they're driven by some sort of other entity which is not god i'm telling you that much some sort of lower self this person's low vibrational. Oh my gosh. Tell me about the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's upset with you. The Ace of Wands. Why don't you want me? Why don't you want to sleep with me? This is a weird energy with the Four of Wands. Why are you not fighting to commit to me or be with me? And this could definitely have been a, a person who you was open to committing to in the past. Somebody's upset that you either rejected them. You could have even have rejected an advance, a sexual advance, yeah, when they jumped towards you with the fool. And something was messy here. You saw something in, in you saw a red flag. And somebody doesn't like it. Tell me about the four of cups. The two of cups. Somebody feels like with the two of coins, somebody feels like you're ignoring a prospect of being with them or considering them as an option to you or an avenue that you want to explore. Seven of Wands is putting somebody in some sort of ego trip energy with the Five of Swords. I'm telling you, uh, this person feels like spiting you. They feel like getting you back. I'm telling you, you rejecting somebody or leaving it where it's at or not wanting to be involved in a mess with the Five of Wands. This person brings drama with the Page of Wands. Somebody could even want to spread gossip and rumours. Somebody could have done this in the past. Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. It's like somebody wants to drag you down because you don't want them. Somebody wants to drag you down because you rejected them, because their ego's hurt. Who is this that you're dealing with? Tell me about the Six of Wands. Who is this that you're dealing with? The Nine of Swords. Somebody's worried that you get attention. How dare there be another successful person? How dare, how dare a successful person reject me? How dare a person of status reject me? Somebody is, is just... Ugh. Wow. With the sun? How dare you get so much exposure, Sagittarius? They're very worried that somebody... It's almost like this person is jealous of you. Like they've met somebody who is actually about that. Like this person is, not to say that, you know, this person doesn't have good attributes or they're negative or they're bad. I see negative energy. I'll take that one back. I see negative energy. I see a lot of ego here, but negative ego. I see, I see a lot of defense. I see a, somebody who is very insecure, right? Six of wands. Somebody's upset that you're, you, you're successful, it's like everything that this person claims to be with the Hierophant card, you are it. And that's why they dislike you because you've rejected them. And somebody's out for blood. Like with the Five of Swords, somebody wants to get you back for this. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. I'll be damned if somebody rejects me. This is what they're saying. I'll be damned if somebody rejects me 
and they're a winner still. Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, if you cut somebody off, or if you decided not to take a connection or not to involve yourself in some sort of five piece, is what I'm seeing. Not even a free piece, you know, at this point. This person dibbles and dabbles. They like the attention. But it's it's to kind of fulfill some sort of low entity that they have going on with them. Some sort of... Um, some sort of deficiency. I want to say confidence-wise with the page of coins. Somebody's very upset that you're doing well or that you're having a new opportunity that isn't with them. This person really feels like they're God's gift. Tell me about the Five of Swords. What would this person be doing here? They could be spreading gossip about you. Ignore it. Shelf card in the reverse. They could be trying to knock you, knock you down somehow. Defame your character. People can listen to gossip all day, every day. But at the end of the day, the most intelligent people, they get to know an individual on the basis of um, who they are as a person. Spread gossip about me. Do that all day, every day. But if you have not come and stood in my face or been around me or been in my company to actually see who I am as an individual for yourself, that gossip don't hold no weight. People love to talk about people, you know, people love to talk about people sometimes, people with nothing better to do, and that's where it comes from, you have nothing better to do, misery loves company, you know, and if nothing's going on with them, they feel that the way that something can be going on with them, or the way that they can look like they've got something going on, or people want to hear what they've got to say, because they have nothing else to bring to the table, is to talk about other people, a lot of people do that, but the flip side of that is, is if you hear gossip, Okay, if you hear gossip about somebody, if you have not spent any time in that person's company, if you do not know that individual, okay, if you are just going on the basis of somebody is saying something um, about this person, cussing this person, talking about their life, talking negativity, whatever it is, right? If that's what you go on and you do not dig a little bit deeper, that says more about you, okay? Not to say it isn't true or there's not truth to it. Nobody's perfect out right? here. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'll be the first one to put my hand up and say I'm not perfect, right? But uh, get to know me. Come have a conversation with me. See who I am. See what I value. You know, see how I move. Make the decision for yourself. You've got your own mind out here. Make the decision for yourself. So whatever this person's to do, I say all that to say, right? If somebody here is spreading gossip or trying to bring you down or being spiteful, it's because you've rejected to them and because they feel like they are insecure that somebody very successful, somebody you could be on a platform here, Sagittarius, you're doing very well. Or this could have even have been after the fact. Maybe you disconnected from them and then you had this success. Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Wands, that's a lot of good energy. You know, somebody's butt hurt and they want to drag you down. Because how dare Sagittarius go off and do well without me? If nobody is coming to... And again, with the gossip, if somebody does try to defame your character or speak negative on you, project some sort of negative energy, because this is it, it stems from jealousy. I'll tell you that much with this person. It stems from jealousy. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> well, you are watching a free reading. I'm telling you that for free, Sagittarius. This person is jealous of who you are. And because they couldn't get you, they couldn't join you, they're going to try and knock you off. And some people move that way. This is a low vibrational person with a lot of negative attachments to them, okay, because of the way that they move. Whatever this person is going to be talking about, whatever this person is going to be trying to do to kind of knock you off your pedestal with the strength card in the reverse, make you feel small, always remember it's because they feel small. And anybody who listens to this individual, anybody who entertains this individual, who can't use their own mind and look at the bigger picture and use their discernment, that's on them. They don't need to be a part of your success anyway. Neither This person doesn't and the people that are listening to this person. You know, if somebody isn't going to come face you, get to know you themselves, have a conversation with you, see what you're about, you know, use their own discernment. They could use their own discernment and still... They can find out that you are a crap person, but I'll give you more respect for that 
because you've come to me and you've made your own opinion. You've you've gathered an opinion, albeit that's your own opinion. Everybody has a right to their own opinion and their own view on things and people, right? But I'll give you more respect for coming in my face and finding out, getting to know me, you know, have a conversation with me, see what makes me tick, you know? doesn't have to be anything, you know, before use your own discernment, you know? And this is the problem that a lot of people seem to get into here in these days. You know, they go off what, every, what other people say. Like, they feed into the negativity that other people talk about them. Come and have a conversation with the person. And I feel like that's what I need to tell you because this person will attempt to knock you off your square, but it's down to jealousy. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, you peep some sort of deception here with an individual with the Knight of Wands in the reverse. You could have peeped that this person slept around this person could, it may have been fun for a minute. Maybe you met this person with friends. Maybe you could have found out that somebody was dibbling and dabbling. Or you could have found out for a friend that they had an enrollment with this person. And you opted out. You definitely opted out. Seven of Swords and that of Wands in the reverse. You didn't sign up to this. And somebody's mad that you didn't sign up to this. With the Queen of Swords. Sorry, with the Queen of Coins. You definitely could have cut them off though. It's like, you're better than this. With the Ten of Wands, you peeped the game. You peeped the burden. You know, you peeped that. You're going to be adding some things to your car, your chariot, your car, wherever, whatever it is that you drive maneuvering. Even if it's your two legs, you don't want to take on no Ten of Wands. With the um, Queen of Pentacles here and the lovers, you don't need a connection that is burden and stress. And I feel like you kept it moving with somebody. You realise that, no, I'm actually better than whatever this is, Okay. Some people will call you bougie. Some people will call you stuck up your own butthole. Let them say whatever it is that they want to say. But at the end of the day, you have dodged a huge bullet and somebody is very, very mad. Very, very mad. I don't know why you needed to know this. Somebody's very, very mad and they will try to drag your name through the mud. They will. Because they're jealous. Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands, Sagittarius. You ain't got to worry about a thing. You ain't got to worry about a thing. Let them talk. Let them drag your name through the mud. Let them make up their own opinion. Let them believe who they want to believe. Because you still have the success. The Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. And that's how I'm going to end it for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I love you. Enjoy the coming week. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Sag, I will see you soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Keep being amazing. Bye.